What up y'all, T-Biz here, and I got a new G.I. Joe pickup. I got uh, another Mercer figure. I, I remember I picked up back, I guess, months back. Probably maybe in winter time, I picked up uh, a Merc or a Mercer from uh, about... I guess, yeah, it was, from, it was from the 90s series because he had a wacky missile launcher and stuff, but I still don't have the one that came out like a long time ago with the three-pack back in the day. And um, my empire brought up that this guy was in the old G.I. Joe movie with uh, Serpentor and the Cobra Law guy, so I really need to go back and watch that one of these days, and I want to find the time and uh, really check it out. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's uh, pop this figure out because I got him on eBay, so the guy, I guess, had the whole latest uh, set from uh, Slaughtered Marauders or whatever from, I guess, one of the anniversary sets. And uh, I guess he just chopped them all out and sold them all. So I'm stoked to get this guy because I got him for a pretty good deal. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, rip him out of here and check him on out. If I can get him out of here pretty solidly. Cool. Put him on. This figure looks pretty pretty gnarly. It looks pretty good. I'm very stoked. I've got a, I've got a huge... Uh, I don't know if you can say a figure crush on this figure because uh, it looks badass. And uh, let me see. It comes with a cool, looks like a Princess Leia gun, but it's more like a silencer. Or like a, a, like a 20 Mac, or what was it? What, what gun is it? Like a, maybe like a, dang, I don't know my guns that well. Like some kind of pistol with a, um, dang, a silencer. Yeah, I'm not that cool. Oh, red, and the silencer comes off. So that's pretty dang cool and pretty easy to lose. So you got the gun right there, you got the silencer right there, and it just goes on like that and comes off just as easy. So that is that's pretty dang cool. Dang, that's pretty cool. Some schmutz there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Something so easy to lose too. Jeez. This guy is definitely going in a plastic bag, cause, uh, or at least his accessories are. So I'm going to play with this figure for a while. He looks pretty pretty dang gnarly. But um, I guess I don't see a holster for this gun. So it's going to just hang out here to the side. And I don't want to lose it in the abyss that is my room, so it's too easy. Let's see, Let's see if I can pop this knife out. As usual, knives are always like... Some accessories are always a pain to get out, but this one came out pretty easily, so it's not too bad. But there's a knife, so that's cool. It goes right here in his uh, vest, so that's pretty cool. Pretty kick butt and easy access. And let's look at the figure. Looks kind of like the dude that was the sensei at the uh, Cobra Kai Dojo on Karate Kid. So that guy was also, what, on Magnum P.I., and he was on an episode of The Incredible Hulk back in the day, too. But, um, pretty good looking figure. Kind of looks like James Franco, too. But, uh, yeah. The sculpt on this thing is amazing. I like how the back of the knee joints look. Cool sculpt on the vest. You can see the stitching and stuff. Very cool. The no, uh, the, whatchamacallit. Yeah, the anti-cobra. No cobra tattoo cool viper style machine gun it was an X viper which is cool because I do like my vipers and this thing looks like it pops off too which I'm gonna be a wiener and I'm not gonna take it off cuz I don't really care to take it off but yeah he looks good this looks like a good figure he could go good against my acid rain dudes or maybe team up with them or whatever but uh, yeah this guy is sick Got a hip old earring on. Got some earrings, hip. He's a man of the 1980s getting earrings or whatever, but yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Got wrist articulation, elbows, all that stuff. Standard Joe articulation, so to speak. But yeah, very cool. Check out his knees. Got double knees, which is a rad. A little tight, but rad nonetheless. Yeah, everything you want in a Joe and more. And he's got a ankle pivot or whatever. I don't know what you call it, pivot, but just that hinge. 
joint right there, so that's good. You need that. But yeah, this this dude's bad, and I like the face sculpt because the face looks mean. He looks like he, he ain't gonna take no crap from nobody. He's got this Danzig like wristband thing going. It looks cool. So if we got in some like close quarter combat or fight, that would help. Not get his uh wrists or arms shredded in some combat or a fight. But yeah, pretty dang cool. Let me get a silencer or his gun. His pistol with the silencer. It doesn't fall off. Oh man. See, I knew that was gonna happen. That's like too easy of a piece to lose. Way too easy. Let me see. It is falling in the abyss. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Yeah, see, I knew this was going to happen. That's why I don't like... Oh, dropping things. But yeah, I found it, so that's cool. But yeah, that, that's too tiny of a piece. That's you. If you get this figure, put that in a plastic bag quick, because you will lose it. But yeah, this guy's bad. This guy's cool. It's the 6-6 six, six sculpt. His boots, everything. Everything's awesome. This guy's just awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't mean the Lego song, but yeah. He's very cool, very cool. Great figure. Let's check out his file card. There's info on him. Felix Mercenary Stratton. It's my uh, dad's name, Felix. With that's pretty cool. Blah 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 blibbity blibbity. To escape Cobra Island, he hot wired a hydrofoil. That's cool because um, good buddy, uh, good brother out there, Star Wars brother, uh, Volcanics Playground gave me that hydrofoil, so it's awesome. So you could reenact that because I've got some of the other moccasins and stuff like he's getting chased down. Brings to the team uh, proficiency with small arms and explosive. Devices and inside information about Cobra. Yeah, he just got sick of being down with Cobra and was like, I'm out of here, guys. Which doesn't, you know, doesn't everybody just kind of get, you know, dissatisfied, <laughs> dissatisfied with the Cobra after a while? I know I do. But anyways, um, enough of me being an idiot. But yeah, a cool figure. Pretty cheap pickup on eBay. Not bad. Pretty satisfied. Very happy. This figure's gnarly. This figure and that that sculpt on the machine gun too. His rifle just awesome. Yeah, I mean they're still making Joes. They're not making them a lot all the time, but the ones that are still coming out are pretty kick ass. And he is. He's pretty kick butt. Yeah, he's got like the sneer or something. It's just it's awesome. With the eyebrows. It's really cool, really tough, really tough figure. But anyways, it's a look at Mercer from uh, from the Slaughter Marauders uh, line or whatever. I guess this was I'm not even sure what year this came out. I know it's not that old, but uh, yeah, it's still a sick figure. But anyways, it's my GI Joe pickup as of late. And once again, thanks for watching and stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, go find you some cool toys and have fun with them because toys be awesome. All right, man. Later.